Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the next edition of the Ghostly Take, the Lehigh Valley Phantoms Holiday Report. As at the holiday break, our Phantoms are playing some better hockey going into the holiday break, but now with the reinstitution of the taxi squads until the NHL All Star break, that is going to affect the Phantoms and already has due to Carter Hart, Scott Lawton, and Derek Broussard being added to the COVID-19 protocol list for the Philadelphia Flyers. Felix Sandstrom was recalled, Jackson Cates, and Jerry Mayhew, who was going to get an opportunity in the final game that was unfortunately um, axed against Washington. He was going to get an opportunity. Jerry Mayhew did not end up doing so. Hopefully he does get an opportunity this time and said he had to be ready, paraphrasing his quote, when he is given an opportunity. So I hope to see him a former AHL, excuse me, MVP. And was playing very well for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms this year. Hopefully, Jerry Mayhew is able to continue to show his um, spunk and his pounce and his basically um, peskiness that he plays with a piss off the other team, being a smaller guy that can get to the net, kind of a TK light, a minor league version of him there, um, that is able to really piss off the other team and be a good at the NHL level, probably bottom six level offensive player, maybe. But he's a guy that's undrafted and a guy that plays very good in the minors. And he definitely deserves all of his opportunities and chances that he is getting. But um, for a Lehigh Valley Phantoms as a whole, of course, their goaltending is mainly being led by a great season thus far by Felix Sandstrom, where Sandstrom has been lights out for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. And uh, he continues to be a very impressive netminder, where Samuel Ursan went in, has been very good for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. But unfortunately, they have not been able to have him in enough this season for them because he was banged up. But went in, he does have a 2-5-1 and a 9 6 and was very sharp <clears throat> um, the other day against Rochester. But on the 18th, when he had to come out of that game and be lifted. But Sammy Orson has been brilliant this year. Pat Nagel has also been good this year for our Phantoms. As Nagel himself this season is 4-0-2 with a 9-13 and a 2-10. And really stepped up for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms this year. Having an absolutely killer season. For the Phantoms, getting it done as a whole for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms, and really playing well overall. So, I think for this Phantoms team to continue having better success into the new year, we have to see players like Maxim Shushka, who is playing better of late. We have to see German Rusov pick it up. I think he's played a much cleaner game since coming back over from overseas. But like Rotrux pointed out on the broadcast, hasn't played necessarily as aggressive as you would like to see. We also have to see Matthew Stroman move to center, and I thought has looked very swimmingly since, and had looked great for Reading before getting moved up, and now has looked very good, and it seems putting him in center has added even more spunk to his game, which I love to see. So it's going to continue to see that kid progress and continue to have great success, as he's been a main cog as of the recent better play for the Lehigh Valley Phantom, and also Connor Bunneman, who of course had an absolutely filthy goal before the holiday break, deking in and scoring. Nick Lappin's been a good veteran addition, so you're going to need all those guys, but also Hayden Hodgson, who I wrote an article on Flyers Nitty Gritty about last week, if you want to check that out, but he's been a great energy force from the right side, where Brandon Saulnier is from the left side. Wade Allison, of course, as he's rehabbing, of course, got banged up again. Hopefully, he's able to come back. But he's been good. Charlie Gerard's been a great speedster energizer bunny. And he, of course, was able to get his first goal where he earned that, having some bad puck luck. Finally, he was able to get one before the holiday break. Igor Zamula is looking closer and closer to being ready for a call, playing a nice, steady game, and really playing a much tighter game, just as everybody was heading into the holiday break as the fans are playing better hockey. Uh, Mason Millman is going to return, which is going to be huge for the defense. Wyatt Wiley returning was already huge for the defense. One of the lone right side prospects for the Flyers. He's playing like a great player this far in his early career and looks like he's going to potentially be a good third pairing right side defenseman for the Flyers in the future. And then Cam York, of course, the great talented Cam York won the goal with Team USA in the World Juniors, is having a very solid season of late. Had some bumps in the road early, but has looked much better like everybody else since he's returned. He was on COVID protocol, but looked much better in his handful of games. He played total uh, going into the break 
as we sit right now. Our Lehigh Valley Phantoms are 7, 11, 4, and 2, which is, of course, significantly better than I think some of us would have thought we would be <clears throat> um, from how the season started for the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Our Lehigh Valley Phantoms, to round out December, beat Harford, unfortunately lost that tough game to Rochester, but then were able to get one point out of that game, were able to beat Hershey. They also were able to beat Harford again this month, so they beat them twice. Beat Cleveland, who hopefully were going to be able to play since they had their effect with COVID protocols. Hopefully that game's going to be able to go so the Lehigh Valley Phantoms are able to return for their first game. But they had great games. Even starting against the Checkers, they were able to get three goals, but unfortunately lost 5-3. The team has been playing much better hockey, being able to score much better goals since losing 4-1 to in back-to-back -back tilts uh, to round out November. They've been scoring better and having a better scoring rate as well as playing much better defense. Wiley, as I said, being a staple on that defense coming back. Millman, who was a staple as a rookie. Yes, he was really good as a rookie. That He really just calmed down the defense. Him coming back, I think, is an undervalued uh, part, too, here going forward. The Phantoms have a chance to recover here. Hockey's a marathon, not a sprint. And they do have a chance to recover here now that Lappy seems to be adjusting from just being the development guy that has all the young guys like the Willmans. Uh, Stroms, the Frost, while he was down, um, doing very good. Now he's starting to really know how to kind of put coaching game plans and schemes together as a whole, and that's really starting to show on the ice to be able to bring the record up to where it is and be able to bring the Phantoms to the much better play. Of course, our Lehigh Valley Phantoms hope to return on Wednesday. Hopefully that's able to stay steady, but again, the Cleveland Monsters are affected by COVID protocols. But this has been a quick Lehigh Valley Phantom holiday um, look into the team. I hope you continue to subscribe down below to show the love and support to help us get to 185 by the end of the new year. I hope you enjoyed this holiday look into our Lehigh Valley Phantoms and preview ahead as I think the Phantoms, as long as we can keep playing like we were playing heading into the break, we'll have much better chance in the second half to recover. Again, it's a marathon, not a sprint. There's still a heck of a lot of a season left, and the Phantoms have a heck of a lot of a chance to be able to recover against some of these teams, hopefully starting with the Cleveland Monsters on Wednesday. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and enjoy the rest of the AHL season.